Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's so great to see you have another day to be, to be in the Lord's house. Yes. Welcome to those that are on the E campus. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to you. Hey, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I'm asking you right now, Father, to begin to do a new thing in this place on today, Father God. Begin to stir up on today like never before, Lord Jesus. Touch your people, Father God. Meet them right where they are, Lord God. I'm asking you right now, you begin to restore the joy that people may have lost in this season, Lord God. Even with a lot of things that are going on, Father. But I believe there's something that's shifting within the atmosphere, Father. I thank you right now for the army that is being raised up for yes. Dr. Thomas this, Father. I hear the Lord say, march forward. March forward. Yes. And watch what I'm getting ready to do. I have put you in the front line because I have <laughs> taught you with my word yes. and with my call which I have placed upon you, people. He said, continue to See the battle that's getting ready to go forth. He said, you shall win this battle because you have put me first for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Have your way on today, Lord God. Even when we go into worship, Father. Don't be, forget about who is in front of you, who is in back of you, who is next to you. He said, Lord, that surrender unto me. Allow me to do a mighty work within you. So I can heal those broken places. So I can heal those things that you have been holding on to you. He said, today is stop now. Your deliverance is today. Your breakthrough is today. Yeah. Receive all that I have for you, says the Lord. He said, watch what I'm going to do. He said, there is a new fire that's getting ready to fall. Yeah. He said, don't fall within this house. Not only in this house, but in your home. As you begin to walk through, even like you are feeling peace, that the past is all understanding, that you have been one. He said, even for those that have been one for your families, he said, I got them. Amen. He said, they are mine. They are mine. He said, they will not be lost to the world. We're going to snap them back and we're going to bring them to the kingdom. For that the time is this. He said, raise up sons and daughter. Allow me to use you like never before. Be my mouthpiece, yes. says the Lord. Continue to do all that I have called you for such a time as this. Yes, Lord. Father, have your way in this service, Father. Meet every need that's in this house. Let us cry out. Let us bow before you. Amen. Because there was none like you, Father. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Father, I pray right now for <clears throat> Minister Lad, yes, she get ready to come forth with the with the worship fire. Yes. Minister through her like never before. Yes, Talk to her right now, right where she is, that she is preparing, Father God. Begin to stir up that fire that's inside of your God. Do something in the worship. Do something unusual yes. on today, Lord God. Father God, I ask you right now, God. That you would touch the village of Tiffany right now as she comes and go come forth yes. with the word on this morning, oh God. Let there be a fresh rainbow and a fresh fire that flows through her, Father. We come against the spirit of fear. We come against the spirit of doubt. Father, do something new within her like you have never done before. Let her speak, let her speak with such integrity and wisdom and trust and confidence. When the word go forth, something's going to change within the atmosphere. And for those that's in the house, and for those that's watching on each campus, Father, yes, the touch those that right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, have your way on today, Father, because you are worthy. Yes. And let that continue to be a praise on your lips. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, she is. Because you are that she is. Because you are worthy, Father. Yes. Have your way. That most she is. Yes, and I'm going to see ya. Thank you, Father. In yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise Jesus. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Y'all got to excuse us. It's a fiery Sunday. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> 
for, for, for freedom for bitterness. Come on. Thank him for freedom for, from fear. Thank him for freedom of every kind from depression. Come on, it was prophesied that our joy is being restored. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I can rejoice and I can smile and I can be glad in the Lord because there were some things that had me bound at different points of life and it felt like I would never be free. But I stand here and I'm free. I can raise my hands and I can rejoice. There's nothing or no one else that is Lord over my life. Come on. Aren't you glad that he's Lord over your life? Thank you, Jesus. We get to choose him as Lord. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. We bless your name, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful God. Come on. He is good, amen? amen. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many can rejoice in this presence? Hallelujah. Glory to God. He has made me glad. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. I will rejoice in him for he has made me glad. Come on. How many glad people in the house? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Bless your name. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Wonderful God. Come on, it's time to worship him. Let's worship him together, amen? others you are still more beautiful God you are still Amen. the beloved God you are number one God no matter God our relationship status you are number one father the most beautiful one Woo. the most beautiful one in every way God we thank you for your presence here today hallelujah 
We thank you for the sweetness of your presence. We thank you for the fire of your presence. We thank you for everything that you're about to continue to do. Yeah. God in the house, God, thank you for a transformative word on today. Thank you for allowing God heaven uh, and earth to kiss today with your presence, yeah. Father. We thank you, God, for what you're going to continue to do. God, we say we're open. Hallelujah. We call your name Yeshua. We say you are the beautiful one, God, and we move out of the way. Who? You are the beautiful one. You are the beautiful one. Yeshua. Yeshua. You are the beautiful one. You are the beautiful one. Yeshua. Yeshua. God, we thank you. Continue to have your way, God. In your mighty name, God, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, God is good. You know, we, we a little fired up, which I didn't know we was having a pre, we had a pre-party, amen? And the Holy Spirit just came in here and prophesied and gave us a little extra energy. So two things. First, I want to um, remind you, you, if you're in the building, uh, the information is on the screen. If you're in the e-campus, it's pinned at the bottom of the um, screen for our offering. So... You can give your tithes and offerings at this time. I'm going to pray over that as well. Also, um, before our speaker, I'm going to introduce her, but before she comes, I have something else to do. Um, Evangelist Tiffany, let's get a little ride in the house. Amen. Evangelist Tiffany is going to bring the word today. So we want to just have a heart to hear. Um, what I am excited about here at Abundant Life Worship Center is. Uh, Pastor James and I don't feel like we don't only want to get here from the Lord. So we like to give the opportunity for those in leadership to be able to go before the Lord and hear what he says. And so we're going to hear that today in just a few moments. Amen. So we just tell you, Miss Tiffany, preach. Tiffany, preach. Preach. I also want to just quickly uh, do this. Uh, Miss Darla, would you please stand, ma'am? Thank you. Amen. So Pastor Darla, she wasn't here last week when we were giving out certificates, and so um, she has a, she got a handful just like Miss Leslie did. Amen. And what I mentioned about Leslie, I want to mention about Miss Darla as well. They came in last year, um, and actually we we celebrate anniversaries around here. Uh, they've been with us a year, so. Um, we're thankful for that as well. But they both came in here and, and said, whatever the Lord tell you to do, for us to do, we're going to do. And then they just let me stretch them like this rubber band from one end to the other. And so um, we have, uh, and right, I heard somebody say still stretching. Um, and so we have her, her certificate of completion for covenant membership. Amen. For our next level of training, which is called Get in Shape. Yes. And for those that desire to be a part of leadership or hold a leadership role, you have to do the same to serve. Amen. And then this is also our commission as a reminder that she is in the ordination process to be uh, in the pursuit of the office of our youth and children pastor. Amen. So, uh, come on up here. Come on. Go. Come on. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, somebody get somebody get some good pictures. Hold on. Spread it all the way out. Somebody can we turn this way real quick so we can get a good picture. Yeah, move that mask off your face. So we can be party. Amen. All right. God bless. All right, I'm going to pray at Miss Tiffany and then I'm going to have you come. Father, we thank you for what has already happened in the house. We are uh, turning our cups up to receive. Our ears are open to hear. And we are thanking you right now for the word. Let it just come with a richness. It's, uh, it's almost like sit down. We're going to have some heavy stew. You know, I ain't talking about a little lightweight stew. That stew that somebody make that got that heavy gravy. Lord, so we ask you to give us a good meal. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
Good morning, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for just being here. We Amen. thank God for being kingdom citizens, kingdom citizens, Amen. citizens in his kingdom. Yep. We thank you, Father, for this word that's going to go forth, Father. Let your word go forth, Father. Amen. We thank you, Father, that your word will be prevalent. Your word is true. Your word is everlasting. We thank you, Father, that you, you reign over all of us. Yes. You reign in the word. You reign in our lives. So we thank you, Father, that you remain the same. You remain constant, and you are everlasting. Amen. We thank you, Father, for the service that's going to go forth. We thank you, Father, that you are just going to continue to be just Lord of Lord over our lives, King of Kings over our lives. So we just thank you for the word. Let our ears be open. Let our hearts and our spirits be open to it. We yes. thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father, for this word. Now, we have heard about advancement. Yes. We heard about advancement. So we, we just... um been hearing about its advancement just as far as in our lives how we can advance in the things of God yes. and so I'm just going to do a quick reminder of the word advancement Amen. the process of promoting a cause or plan yeah. the promotion of a person in rank or status some synonyms of promotion are career development sorry advancement promotion, career development elevation Upgrading, yeah. being upgraded, progress, improvement, betterment, growth, rise, moving up, and improvement. Now, some antonyms of that advancement is to decrease, mm. failure, decline, halt, and stagnation. Mm. But we're not going to worry about because we are worried about the advancement and the things of the Lord. Amen. So we are worried about, we are not worried, but we are just rejoicing in the Lord of his advancement in us and through us. Yeah. So the title of this message is called, Whose Kingdom Are You Advancing? Come on. Whose yeah. Kingdom Are You Advancing? Amen. And what we mean by that is, are you advancing God's agenda? Are you advancing your own personal agenda? Or are you advancing Hopefully not the enemy's agenda. Come on. And so our anchor, our anchor scripture for today is First Peter's two nine KJV in the KJV version. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, yes. that ye should shew forth the process of Him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah, come on. We thank you, Father, for calling us out of darkness Amen. into your marvelous not light. Yeah. Yeah. And because we are kingdom citizens and because we are part of a royal priesthood, we have a responsibility to represent to others Amen. his light, yeah. his glory, but not by our own power, not by our own might, by his power, yeah. by his might, Amen. by his abide in us. He works through us. And we just thank the Lord that he has made us to be part of his royal priesthood. Yeah. And so when we are part of his royal priesthood, we are lifting him up. We are not walking in darkness. Amen. We are not walking in stagnation. Right. We are not walking in the things of the past. But we are walking forward in kingdom things. Yeah. Kingdom yeah. mindsets. Kingdom agendas. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And so when we think about kingdom, the definition of kingdom is a country, state, or territory ruled by a king or queen, the spiritual reign or authority of God, the realm in which God's will is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. Amen. The realm in which God's will is fulfilled. Come on. Not our will. God's will. Yes. And so some synonyms for kingdom are area, dominion, possessions, reign, territory, turf, and field. 
And the antonyms for antonym for kingdom is separation. But once again, we're not going to worry about se uh, separation because we're going to be unified in God's kingdom. Amen. Because we're going to lift him up and give him the glory. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. We all want to advance or move forward in our lives. This advancement can be in our careers, our ministries, our businesses, or just in the situations that we go through in our personal lives. However, are we willing to do what it takes to do so? Hmm. Are we willing to advance God's kingdom? Amen. When it comes to advancing God's kingdom, we must be willing to do what is necessary. Yeah. What's necessary that he wants us to do. How he wants us to fulfill his will, his plans, his glory. And so just an example of kingdom. So I'm going to talk about kingdom in terms of the world's kingdom and God's kingdom. And just taking some of these things, examples from God's most high Christian ministry, which is online, in terms of the world's kingdom. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to give you examples of God's kingdom. Amen. Because what we are kingdom citizens in his kingdom. Amen. So when we look at the kingdom in terms of the world, we have a king, which is a ruler, and the ruler is over the land, it's over the nation, it is over its own territory. But when we look at God's kingdom, God is in authority. Amen. God is ruler of all things. Yeah. Not just a small territory, yeah. not just a small city, not just a small county. He is ruler over all. Yeah. He is ruler. He is a dominion over all. Yeah. Yeah. When we also think of kingdom in terms of the world, we have people, right? Or citizens. Amen. But when we think of God's kingdom, we are thinking of his children. King, his kingdom citizens. Mm -hmm. When we think of the world and its kingdom, we also think of land and how all that land is within or around the kingdom. All of it. But when we think of God's kingdom, we think of his territory. Once again, he is ruler of all. Amen. Also, when we think of the world's kingdom, we think about how the kingdom is established. It has a constitution, right? Mm -hmm. It has words that are uh, just going forth in terms of the king. But when we think of God's kingdom, we're thinking about how his word is going forth. Amen. How his word is being prevalent. How his rules, his truth, his word is going forth. Amen. Also, in the world's kingdom, we think of citizenship. Citizenship, okay? So when we think about citizenship, the people have to do certain things or actually come into things in order to be a citizen. Mm -hmm. They have certain privileges, a status, if you will. But when we are thinking of God's kingdom, we're thinking that we are already free and saved. Amen. We are having the benefits of God's kingdom. We are ha we already have a good status. I, I have a high status when it comes to the Lord. We have that access. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the world's kingdom, we also think about laws and rules mm -hmm. and how the rules and laws are of man. How they must be obeyed. And if you are breaking them, mm -hmm. guess what? You are put in rebellion with the ruler. But when you are thinking of kingdom, there are laws and rules. Truth, the word of God. Amen. And if you are being put, if you are being put in rebellion, you are doing rebellious things with God. You are interfering with your blessings. Mm -hmm. And you are also interfering with the favor from the Lord. Amen. Because once again, it is about kingdom. <laughs> also, when we talk about world the world's kingdom, we talk about privileges, right, and benefits. But when we think about God's kingdom, we think about benefits in terms of being part of a royal priesthood. Amen. Okay? And having access to the Father's wealth. 
And when we have access to the Father's wealth, that puts us in order to be in inheritance of those things that are of God. Yeah. When we think of worldly kingdom, we think of an army. We think of security. How it established protection. But when we think of God's kingdom, it also is an army, but that army includes God, it includes Jesus, right. it includes the Holy Spirit, yeah, and it includes yeah. angels that are there to protect us, that is with us everywhere we go. He leads us, guides us, and order our very steps. Amen. So we don't have to be worried because we have a mighty army that is behind us. Amen. When we think of worldly kingdom, we think of commonwealth, economic security, or financial security that the king provides. But when we think of God's kingdom, the security is already in God. Amen. It is already in God. Because if we are thinking of God's kingdom, we have to seek him. And all those things will be added onto us. Amen. But when we seek him, we have to make sure we seek him accordingly. Not in our own will, not in our own might, but God's will. Mm -hmm. And so just giving an example of advancing God's kingdom, we're going to come from the book of Luke 17, verses 20 to 22. And this is just talking about the coming of the kingdom. Amen. One day, the Pharisees Excuse me. One day, the Pharisees spoke, whoa, Jesus. When will the kingdom of God, I'm sorry, one day the Pharisees asked Jesus, uh -huh. when will the kingdom of God come? Right. Jesus replied, the kingdom of God can't be detected by visible signs. You won't be able to say, here it is, <laughs> or it's over there. Uh -huh. For the kingdom of God is already among you. Amen. Then he said to his disciples, The time is coming when you will long to see the day when the Son of Man returns, but you won't see it. Now in this passage, or scriptures, the Pharisees were asking about God's kingdom and when it was coming. But they didn't know it was already there. Jesus. It's already there. The kingdom of God was already there. Jesus. It arrived. Hmm. The kingdom of God is not an earthly kingdom, but one that starts within, Come on. within us. It starts with the work of God's spirit in our lives yes. and relationships. When looking at advancement of God's kingdom, we must look for the evidence of what God is doing in people's hearts, in people's minds, and in people's spirits. So we're going to move forward with obstacles to advancing God's kingdom. Some things that could hinder yeah. the advancement of God's kingdom. Because when we think of God's kingdom, we don't just think about ourselves. It's not about us. It's not about just the church that you're in. It's beyond these four walls. Amen. We have a work to do. We have a mighty work to do. He wants us to snatch up and grab people for his glory, yes. his kingdom. Yes. And so when we think about God's kingdom, we're not just thinking about ourselves once again. I'm restating, we're not just thinking about ourselves. We're thinking of God's kingdom in terms of us, our families. Yeah. Our relationships, yeah. our jobs, everything that God possesses. Because remember, God is ruler of all. Amen. Not just one territory, not just one domain, not just one city. He is ruler of all. So when we think of him being ruler of all, we think thinking of him being ruler of many. He wants to have his kids. His kingdom kids to be lifted up and encouraged, yeah. knowing that he is God and God alone. Yeah. We have a mighty work to do, people of God, a mighty work to do. And so it's for us to just hear from him and to just heed his word. Amen. What obstacles, whether past or current, are standing in the way of advancing God's kingdom? One, staying in old mindsets, Come on. old behaviors, or ways of thinking that are not having us fulfill God's will. Not our will, 
God's will. Two, not walking in the spirit of humility. Okay? Christ should be exalted at all times. At all times. John 3, verse 30, in the NLT. He must become greater and greater, and I must become less and less. Yeah. Because if we don't become less and less, how can he work in us? We cannot walk in the spirit of pride, but the spirit of humility. Yeah. Three, not being submissive to the will of God. When we are being submissive, we are willing to enter in an intimate relationship with God. Four, fear. We must not have the spirit of fear that was said earlier. Okay? Fear paralyzes us. Mm -hmm. 2 Timothy 1 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yeah. So God wants us not to be fearful, but to have boldness in Him. Boldness to preach His word. Boldness to live His word and to walk out His word. Walk it out with power. Walk it out with a sound mind. And walk it out with love. Amen. Five, holding on to what's familiar. That can also keep us back from advancing God's kingdom. Six, distraction. That can take us off what is important and what matters to God. Proverbs 4, verses 25 through 26. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Ignore all sideshow distractions. Watch your step and the road will stretch out smooth before you. So he does not want us to get caught up in trivial things. He doesn't want us to be caught up in distractions because the distractions can deter us from moving ahead in God's kingdom. And it's, once again, it's not about us. It's about his whole kingdom. Yeah. Building up his kingdom. Doing his will. Doing his ways. Doing his agenda. Yeah. Seven, lack of repentance. Ah. Lack of repentance. Matthew 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. And finally, not seeking God. Hmm. Not seeking God. Because if you're not seeking God, it doesn't even matter about these other, it does matter, but you got to seek him first so you'll be able to hear clearly what is going on. Are you hearing from God? Are you hearing his word? Because if you're hearing from God, you're hearing his word, then you can walk forth in the advancement of his kingdom. Amen. Now that we talked about obstacles in advancing his kingdom. Now we're going to talk about how do we advance God's kingdom. Yeah. How do we do that? Amen. Now when we think about advancement or moving forward, we must have a kingdom mindset. Come on. It's not just about us. It's not just about advancement in our lives. Hmm. Yeah, that may sound, it may be good we're advancing, but what about God's children? Amen. Because he cares for us all. Each one of us, one by one, not just the people that say, not just the people that that uh, are in God's kingdom, but he cares about all his children. Amen. He does not want us to fall prey to the enemy's tactics. Right. He does not want us to do that, okay? It is about the will of God. It is about God and his kingdom. We are ambassadors for Christ. How we think and even act makes a difference in advancing God's kingdom. Amen. So these are just some steps to walk forth in advancing God's kingdom. Amen. Letting go of what's familiar. That means don't go backwards. Don't stay stagnant. Walking in humility. Being and having a submission and a submissive heart a submissive mind, and a submissive spirit. We want to make sure that we have that. Have, also walking in obedience. Mm -hmm. When we walk in obedience, we are walking in the things of God. We are hearing from God. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. 
Aggressiveness. When we th think of aggressiveness, we're talking about advancing forcefully, okay? Not, I'm not talking about aggressiveness in terms of manipulating or dominating others or people or things or situations, Amen. but surrendering all of our fears, surrendering all of our doubts, all of our will, our will, surrendering our will, our personal rights, surrendering that all, okay? In God's kingdom, we must be willing to do what is necessary. Amen. Advancing God's kingdom requires being unwavering, having an unwavering faith. It takes boldness and it takes courage. It takes endurance and determination. He wants us to stay in the fight. He wants us to be determined because we have a work to do. We have to advance God's kingdom. Amen. He, want, he doesn't want us to also have selfishness. Because it's not about us. Yeah. Matthew 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. And so when we think about those things, we think about how, once again, we are advancing God's kingdom. And it's requiring us to be having that steadfast faith, having us to be bold, having us to have courage, having us to endure, having us to persevere, having us to be disheartened and to be focused in the things of the kingdom. Yeah. Which brings us to the next thing, staying focused. Mm -hmm. Repenting. We have to make sure that we are repenting. Okay? Also, we have to make sure that when we seek God and we seek things, we are seeking Him first. We making sure that he is the main priority. Matthew 6, verses 33 in the KJV version. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All these things. And also, we must have a kingdom mindset. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about mindset, According to the American Heritage Dictionary, it's a fixed mental attitude or disposition that predetermines a person's responses to and interpretations of situations. When we think about kingdom, it's the realm in which God's will is fulfilled. In other words, a kingdom mindset consists of having a fixed mental attitude or disposition that is of God. It is controlled by God, meaning that it's his will, it's his plans, his desires, his purpose. Okay? We also have to make sure that it predetermines or decides in advance our responses to and interpretations of situations. Uh -huh. We have to make sure that we are not compromising. Mm -hmm. We are not compromising it. God's truth, his Amen. word, our beliefs in the word, or God's plan. Amen. We must be steadfast and not be moved, not to be shaken. We must have a life of servanthood and service. Yes. We must be able to snatch people from the enemy's grip, discipling others. Because when we talk about kingdom and God's kingdom, it's about multiplying and Getting God's kingdom built up for his glory. Amen. We want to also make sure that we know God's truth and word. And these, these are just some more things that we must do in order to advance God's kingdom. We want to also make sure that we are investing our resources to God's kingdom. Amen. That's a good thing to do. Amen. Okay. Amen. And so often different situations or circumstances and even our mindsets affect the way we move forward within our lives. Mm -hmm. It's a mindset thing. Mm -hmm. How can we move forward in the things of God if we don't have the mindset to do so? We have to have the mindset. Mm -hmm. How can we move forward if we're not kingdom focused, but you are about your focus, about 
the enemy's focus. Hopefully not. <clears throat> Don't let the negative effects of life or worldly influences prevent you from moving forward in how God wants you to move. Amen. If he wants you to move forward, move forward. Amen. If he wants you to stay still because he wants you to hear from him, stay still. Right. But make sure that you are hearing from him. Amen. Change your mindset. Change your ways of thinking. Change your attitude. Will you move forward in the things of God? Will you do God's agenda or plan? Yes. What is your mindset? Are you operating in a godly mindset? Are you advancing God's agenda, the enemy's agenda, or your own personal agenda? Mm -hmm. Move forth in advancing God's kingdom. God. And so as we conclude this message, God wants us, it's, it's all about God's kingdom. Amen. And so when we are thinking about his kingdom, I know it's repetitive, but it's for a reason. He wants Amen. us to look at our mindsets. He wants us to take a deep dive into who we are, who we are in him who he is within us. And so when we are moving forth and advancing God's kingdom, we have to make sure that we are making sure that we are doing it in a positive way, a positive mindset. Because we are being examples. We're being the light to draw others in. Not because of our own will, our own might, but because of God. Mm -hmm. He wants his glory to be known. Mm -hmm. His will to be known. He wants his kingdom to be advanced. Amen. Amen. I don't know where she's going. She got to come back up here and pray. But um, before you do that, let me say this. See, I love how the Lord does things, right? So, my message for next week, I was already going to come back and tell y'all, bring your paper and your pens. Say an ouch before we start. Because the name of my message is Mindsets Matter. Amen. And God said he got to break down the wrong kind of mindsets so he can build up the right kind of mindset. So why is he building? So he had... Tiffany laid the foundation. I'm coming in with a sludge hammer, as they say. <laughs> I'm coming in because he said I got to break them up. Because to be honest, we can't advance a lot of that until we start. Because that's the, this is where the battle starts here in our minds. And so um, I don't know why Tiffany said, but she wanted me to be able to make that announcement. So she's going to come up and pray. <laughs> like she forgot how the house is. She's going to come up and get the general prayer after the... After the general prayer, we're going to see if anybody has more prayer in the house. Uh, we're going to cut the camera off for that, and then we're just going to have that Holy Ghost party that we normally have. Amen. Come on, Miss yeah. Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you, Father, for being Lord of Lords. We thank you, Father, for being King of Kings. We thank you, Father, that you're going to just have us to be in the kingdom mindset. And when you have us to be in the kingdom mindset, Father, you are advancing our minds. You are advancing our spirits. And you are advancing our hearts, Father. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus over our mindsets. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus over our hearts. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus is over our very spirits, Father, because you have the victory. You have the victory, Father. It's about you, Father, and the enemy will not prevail. Your kingdom will reign. Your kingdom will have the victory. So we thank you, Father, that in the advancement of the kingdom, Father, that you will build us up, not to build us up to just to um, have it be in our own power and our own might, but to build us up to do your will, to do your ways, to do your glory, Father. We thank you, Father, for just who you are because you are great. You are mighty. You are magnificent. You are holy. And we thank you, Father, that you see fit for us to advance your very kingdom, Father. We thank you, Father, that you have given us the very strength, Father, to move forward, Father, in your advancement of the kingdom.
kingdom. We thank you, Father, that you are just going to do a work in us. You're going to do a work in our mind. You're going to do a work in our hearts. You're going to do a very work in our spirits. Yeah. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father, in our homes. Have your way, Father, over our relationships, Father, because you want us to be unified. Because if it's not about kingdom, Father, we ask you to tear it down. Tear it down. Cut it down at the root, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done. Let your kingdom reign. Let your kingdom go forth in power. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your glory shining yeah. in this place, Father. We thank you, Father, for your glory just being edified in this very place, Father. We thank you, Father, that your children, Father, will not be worried. Your, your children will not be a doubt. Your children will walk in strength. Your children will walk forth in power. Your children will be in holiness, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to change mindsets. The Lord wants us to change mindsets. He wants us to change our hearts. He wants us to change our spirits so that we can be healthy and not anemic in the spirit. Yeah. Have your way, Father. Let your strength reign, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father, of your people. Have your way, Father, of your people. Have your way, Father, of your people. It's about your advancement, Father. Your kingdom, Father. Your glory, Father. In the mighty name of yes. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, yes. all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Ah.